What's going on guys? My name is Wade with Tech Daily, and in this video, we are checking out Top Tech under 75 bucks for the month of December, the last Top Tech of 2017. And as always, if you're interested in picking up one of the items I mentioned here in this video, I'll have links to everything down below in the video description. And of course, if you'd like to win something, all you have to do is be a subscriber to the channel and leave a comment down below letting me know what you might want. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. The first item on the list is this super portable VNAX Bluetooth speaker. For for as small and as compact as this speaker is, it produces a great sound, and for just 24 bucks, it's priced really well. It's got a very interesting design for sure, and it's only about 4 inches wide at the base and not even 2 inches tall, so you really could just carry it around in your pocket if you wanted to. What I really like though is up top you've got touch controls for adjusting the volume, playing, pausing, and skipping music, and taking phone calls. And I sort of prefer these touch controls to having actual buttons. It makes the speaker feel particularly nice, and they work flawlessly. You've got auxiliary and micro USB. USB for charging around back along with an LED indicator. And as far as sound quality, here's a quick sample so you guys can get an idea. Like I said, really pretty good considering it's super portable and relatively inexpensive. It's definitely something I could recommend. Next up, we have another product from VNAX, this time a very interesting pair of wireless Bluetooth earbuds. And for 33 bucks, you do get some nice little extras, even at that decent price point. You get a pretty nice hard shell carrying case for storing the earbuds and the extra accessories it comes with, which also includes a super short micro USB cable for charging and a couple replacement ear tips and a clip. The earbuds themselves have a really wild design, but it's totally functional, which I'll talk about in just a second. They feel really solid and high quality with a combination of rubber and metal, and like I mentioned, the ear tips are easily replaceable, so you can find ones that fit you best. And they're also magnetic, so storing them is a little easier. It's a nice little addition. The micro USB port is located on the inline controls, and the controls allow you to play and pause music, adjust volume, and also have a mic for taking phone calls. Now, the unique design of these earbuds, the fact that they're sort of on the bigger side, not only allows them to fill up a good portion of your ear, but for me and my ear size, they were pretty good at actually blocking out a lot of the outside noise, too. You can see that they don't really stick out too much, which is good, and you can even even use the end of the wire that kind of flows through the earbud and loops up to act as sort of an ear hook to ensure that they're securely in your ear. But luckily for me, they fit just fine without that adjustment. As far as sound quality, they're really pretty good, especially being Bluetooth earbuds. But like I said, I was most impressed with the fact that because of their unique wide shape and comfortable rubber, these fill up a good portion of your inner and outer ear, and they do a great job blocking out all the outside noise, even for just being a pair of in-ear earbuds. Now I know I've featured a bunch of wireless Qi chargers in a few videos now, but I gotta throw in one more here because this one is now a great deal. This is the Samsung Convertible Wireless Fast Charger, and it's convertible in the sense that you can have it be a regular flat Qi charging pad, or flip it upright and turn it into a stand, so you get the best of both worlds here. It obviously works with both iOS and Android, it supports up to 9 watts of wireless charging, it's got sort of a soft pleather-like material on the pad itself, so it won't scratch your phone if it doesn't have a case on it. It also plugs in via USB BC, so most Android folks only have to worry about one cable with everything as it should be. And most importantly, while these used to retail for like $70 or $80, you can get them now for $40 bucks or less. Much more affordable, and obviously a great option if you're interested in adding one more outlet for charging your device. So if you're trying to get into the YouTube game, or maybe you want to improve your setup for the new year with some fresh lighting, the lights I've been using for the last two years now have been these Limo Studio softboxes. Yes, they're big and obnoxious, and they take up a lot of space, but they're 85 watt, 6500K super neutral lights that really can make a difference. And for like 60 bucks, you get two of everything that you need. You get two soft boxes that you can take apart and stick in an included carrying bag, two giant bulbs, two 86 inch tall stands. For everything that you get here, and for how long they've lasted me, these have been the single best investment I've made for my YouTube channel. I've never had any issues, I haven't had to get any new bulbs yet in two years, they've been absolutely perfect in every way. And last but not least, if you're getting tired of the same old look of your smartphone, change it up a bit with a pretty inexpensive slick wrap skin. This one here is the charred robot skin, which is relatively new and looks pretty awesome, but if you're looking for a bit more color, try out a red and gold Iron Man skin instead. I know it's sort of a love it or hate it thing with skins like these, but it's a super cheap way to easily change up the look and feel of practically any device, and you guys know I've been a fan of these for a while now. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, let me know your favorite item in the comments below. Also be sure to follow Tech Daily on Twitter, and subscribe to the Tech Daily YouTube channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys later.